You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to another Market Crash Squad Builder. Now I did one of these last week and you guys seem to really enjoy it. Just because everyone is very worried about losing coins with the Market Crash that's going on at the moment. So it's good to build very strong teams that are very cheap and today I've got another one for you. Now if you are saving for Team of the Season and you want a load of coins, then go and check out FIFACoinsForSale.com. They do some great deals on Ultimate Team Coins. Their link is down in the description and definitely worth having a look about their site. Now let's jump into this squad. We're building in the 3 5 -2. I know a few of you will hate that. Some of you will really appreciate it because I know a lot of you will be playing the 3-5-2. It's a very strong formation. I personally don't like it, but occasionally I will pull it out if I'm not playing too well. And to be honest, I've played about six, seven games with this team and I had only lost one, which isn't too bad a record. So it's going to be a bit of a hybrid. We've got some League One. We've got some Cameroonian players in there. We've got some Bundesliga. We've got some Barclays Prem team players. So let's just start building. First off in goal, we're going for the Bundesliga. We are using Weiss or Wies, however you want to say his name, from, I believe it's uh, Hoffenheim. So there you go. He goes into the squad. Very strong, very good because he's quite tall and he's actually very cheap as well. I'm just going to switch on the 3-5-2 filter so that we can find everyone straight away. Then in the central centre-back position, we are using Matip. I've used this guy a couple of times. Well, this is the guy I was actually using at the start of FIFA in my original team. And he is very good. I mean, 78 defending, 80 heading, and he has 73 pace so he is a very strong player and he fits in he lets us hybridize this team because one way we're going to go Bundesliga which is in the other centre back which is Boateng who again is another very strong uh, Bundesliga centre back with a 75 pace and 77 defending and then on the right centre back we're going for this guy the upgraded Unkulu now this team actually ends up costing around about the 20k mark which if you think about it, isn't too bad because I don't think that anything's going to drop, drop more than about 20%. So you're not going to lose more than about 4k building this team at the very most. And even then, I don't think you'll lose that much. So a team that you'll easily make all your coins back in four games. Now... I went for, on the right midfield position, I went for this guy, and he's pretty good. I actually really like him. It is Jesus Navas from Sevilla. Bit of a strange one, you may be thinking, because he doesn't link to Nkulu, and Nkulu still needs links. But how am I going to get a link between Jesus Navas and Nkulu? Now, the way that I did it was this guy. He gets pretty underused, and he's quite cheap in La Liga, and it's Song. He used to play for Arsenal, now plays for Barcelona. Uh, he's obviously Cameroonian, so he links up with the two centre-backs. He links up with Jesus Navas, because he's in the same league and he's very good I mean look at the 82 defending and as I said before when I look for CDMs I always look at their defending stats first before I start looking at anything else so 82 defending is very strong for this guy now we obviously need to get Jesus Navas onto full chemistry. That means we're going to need a string link going into him from the centre attacking mid. That comes from this guy, Thiago. Now, this guy, he's actually got a, an inform recently. And uh, I haven't actually used the inform, but I've heard it's very, very good. And his centre attacking mid version, or his non-rare centre attacking mid version, is actually very good. I've enjoyed using him, which is kind of strange. He only has three star skills, um, but still quite an enjoyable player to use and would recommend him in that centre attacking mid role. If you're not worried about coins, then you can chuck like Cesc Fabregas in there. Quite happily, he'll get full chemistry in the same uh, situation as well. Now moving on to the other centre defensive mid position, we are now using Bundesliga. We're going for a Spanish Bundesliga player and it's Javi Martinez. Had a fantastic game against Barcelona and this is a weird uh, combination of Barcelona and uh, Bayern Munich considering they're going to be playing I think is it this week or next week? I'm not really sure. But either way, uh, there you go. The hybridization going on between the two. And then in the left mid position, we are using a German. And his name is Schuller. I love this guy. He used to be a striker, hence why his shooting is so good for a left mid. When he gets in on goal, he will score a lot of goals. Um, I mean, he used to be a striker on FIFA 12. That's when I used to use him. I used him in my road to glory for a long time. And I could have switched him out for someone a lot higher rated. But I never did because I thought he was absolutely fantastic. He's got four star skills and just really, really good with that 88 pace so there you go those guys are now all on full chemistry as you can see and uh, even though it says that uh, what we're we saying that uh, Jesus Navas isn't he actually is it's just a glitch by EA and now we can just move on to the strikers I went for a strong link or a very strong link between two players and it is from the BPL we have Remy 
And we also have Gibral Cissé, who no longer plays at QPR, but he still has that QPR card. And they are both overpowered monsters. Uh, I think that uh, Remy is probably the most expensive player in this squad, but definitely worth the coins, that 92 pace and uh, 76 shooting, something very good. And Gibral Cissé, although their shooting says they're quite low, they are in fact incredible. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this squad. If you could drop it a like, that would be amazing. Stick around for the goals and uh, I will leave it there and I will see you all next time. I know that you don't know